Okay, and I'm on live. Welcome, ladies, to the CFM Elite Facebook page. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. And for anybody else who's returning, welcome. So uh, my name is Chico, before I get carried away. And I'm here just to uh, share my lifestyle experiences, as in lifestyle design, as well as um, online business type related topics. So what I do is I help women to learn how they can turn their life passions into profits. And today's topic, which I recorded in my um, podcast, is episode 12. Only within two weeks since I started my podcast, you probably see it on the timeline, I've recorded 12 episodes so far. So that feels like success for me. Yay! <laughs> okay, so today's topic is about um, can you uh, successfully start a business without any income, without any money? The reason this topic came up is because I believe that sometimes people are held back or aspiring entrepreneurs are held back from starting a business due to the feeling of lack. So the feeling of lack is more about the mindset that says you don't have sufficient income and you can't start a business. So my question over to you, you can leave a comment as you join in. Also remember to press um, follow, share and like so that I know you're watching. So my question over to you will be, do you believe you can start an online business without any income? So what I mean by this is a business where you do not, it's a mainly digital or internet marketing type business, not the physical product type business. Can you start it without any income? There's also some aspect of the physical products, which I believe you can start off without needing any income. For instance, eBay, Amazon, and now um, Facebook also has a shop. Times are changing. Yeah, so Facebook has a shop where you can sell your existing items to raise capital, raise funds for your business if you wanted to trade in physical products. And eBay and Amazon are also great resources where you can use your pre-existing items and make an income from that. To start off with so in terms of online business i don't believe that i'm getting used to like a new hairdo which is still not completely done <laughs> yeah so um in terms of an online business i believe that you actually do not need any income to start off with so we're just talking about starting off your business what i believe is and feel free to share your own experience what I believe is you first need an idea. Okay, so in my podcast, you would have heard if you've been listening to them. If you haven't, I've been talking about how you need a vision, a life purpose. So your vision is um, what you envision your lifestyle to be like. Not necessarily about the income or the money. It's more about the life that you would like to be able to live um, and fulfill that purpose. So what you visualize, making it real so that it's more tangible and in, to set up into realistic goals. And then your life purpose and then understanding a little bit more about um, what your passions are. So the things that you enjoy the most. And once you have these three areas outlined, then at least it gives you some idea to start off with as a foundation for your business online. Yeah, so it starts off with an idea and then taking that idea and then seeing how it aligns with like your vision, your life passions, and then your intended purpose. Who do you believe you can add value to as an example? And where can you find these people? Where do they hang out the most? Um, are they on social media platforms or are they on more professional sites such as uh, LinkedIn, for example? And can you start to like network and test things out on those platforms as well as your um, premise for being able to get a few hints, ideas and research more on your initial idea 
and get feedback from people as well to start off with. Or it even takes just um, solving problems. When you interact online, if you've got the experience of doing that, or you can become interactive, is just providing you know, help to people who are looking for solutions. So the more questions people ask and you're able to answer them, even in your um, career or your personal life, that then develops an idea for your business. And why I say you don't need money to start off your business is because nowadays it's never been so much simpler, so much easier. You're not taking things or sending like, um, I was going to say wood, I don't even know where that's coming from. So you're not having to ship tons of things and waiting for three months, four months. You can easily go online, start your research, um, establish like a platform on where you want to set up your business, whether it's social media, like for instance, Instagram, Facebook, um, and other resources as well. Or if you want it to be more professional, LinkedIn. And once you've done that, then it's in the background, you're doing more research. The reason... For that, what it helps you to do is establish a foundation, also um, the opportunity to network with people on and offline to see what's happening, what's, what are the current trends, and to see what solutions you can offer. Then that gives you an idea to create like a strategy, uh, a mini business plan, not the ancient business plans where we had like 60 or more pages to draft and hand to your, to your bank you know, in order for them to approve for a business plan as such nothing that exaggerated it's just something that sets you off on a uh, on a path and is strategic keeping in mind that if you do not have the financial resources to start off with then looking within that strategy how much based on your research do you need to fund for your business if it's uh, especially it's going to be like an online business What have you found out? Will you be taking courses, as an example, in order to um, um, enhance what you already know in the near future? And how much will it cost? When do you need to um, fund it by? And also, do you need any um, marketing investment as well? And how much will that cost? So writing down all the costs of what you think it might be in reality based on what you've discovered. And then planning realistic goals around when you believe you can then start to fund for your business. So the other things that may hold you back or you as in the royal you might just also be um, in terms of thinking that you need to have a website established. You need to know all the techie stuff. Nowadays, that's not necessary because most of the people are mainly um, hanging out on um, social media websites, um, professional websites as well. In the beginning, it's not a necessity because you also have the, if you wanted to, and it's also something that is a good to, to create a landing page. So those do not cost a lot. And it's also like a monthly fee where you just create a landing page so that you can capture a customer list, which becomes where your wealth will build on in the long term because those are your inner circle or your client group, your prospective clients who've expressed an interest about your idea or the solution that you have to offer. So as long as you have that in place and as a resource to be able to communicate with your customers, once you've learned the processes, then that that should be um, sufficient enough to get you going. And also having like a platform where you're just t- starting off on the basic, testing it and then um, increasing like your audience to know, like and trust you. Then that builds your foundation as well. And in the background, while you're learning, then you can then start to think about the planning of the financial without having to worry too much of it as being at the forefront. Because when you worry about finances being at your forefront, what tends to happen is you don't start your business. You just stay where you are. And then you think, I'll wait until next year or two years down the line until, you know, you have um, financial, you have the um, sufficient resource. And by the time it comes on to the the first year, the second year, 
there would have been other problems that have come along the way and you've had to use the money or ideas have changed. Okay, so that's why it's so essential that do not be held back by not having any money. Be more creative and proactive in getting yourself yourself out there, um, engaging with people, networking, so that then you can develop that uh, business acumen to have some insight on what's needed to be able to establish it. And also there are other resources online where you do not have to be a jack of all trades as well. So a jack of all trades just means that you feel like you need to do every single thing in your business. Now, if you're not techie savvy, that's not such a, it's not the end of the world. It's about finding other resources where you can outsource. Um, for example, Fiverr, it stands for that basically. Fiverr meaning minimum fee for somebody uh, designing something for you like a logo is five um is five pounds or five dollars i think it is in dollars it starts from from five dollars and above and any other services they will be able to provide you with on there and then there's um upwork where you can also hire freelancers for a specific fee as a one-off fee or an ongoing fee for things that you believe that they might be time wasters but other people value them because they're skilled in in doing that so, um, for example, virtual assistants, yeah, when you have established yourself, not in the beginning, if you do not have the financial resource to do that, but uh, it's about mapping it out to see when can you take on the extra resource. So those are the, some of the things that I've used myself in order to um, do some of my initial groundwork for, for my business and then also taking out the tasks which are time-consuming tasks knowing that if there's like administrative tasks, uh, if it's five, five dollars, twenty dollars, that is like a meal, going out for a meal. And in London, I don't live there, but when I go there, it's even more than that to spend on a meal. <laughs> so can I pay somebody to do a bit of my admin work? Yes. If you're really, really serious about studying a business and wanting to be successful online, I always think about the urgency of it is it really urgent how urgent is it in terms of an emergency when it becomes an emergency then that means that you definitely are ready i'll give you an example let's say um not thinking about like the west but anybody in any given emergency situation our levels of anxiety are heightened to the point that we will do what it takes to become financially resourceful because we are pushed to the edge but when we're living our life on a day-to-day -day, we become a little bit more relaxed and um, laissez-faire so take things a little bit more for granted and think tomorrow tomorrow I'll wait and then tomorrow ends up being five years and ten years down the line so if you feel like you need to change your life around and this is something that you're really passionate about keeping in mind the things that I mentioned in the beginning about having a clear vision, um, your life purpose and your reason why, include um, yeah, your life purpose and reason why, and then your life passion. Once those are clearly outlined, then that's what will intuitively in your gut kick you and wake you every day to keep pushing forward regardless, regardless of whether you have money or you don't. And when something intuitively kicks you in the gut, you become more resourceful than you've ever been to the point that the resources, will, you will find ways to, to raise the funds. So this is what I just wanted to share today. And I hope it's given you a bit more of an insight. If you've got any questions, do feel free to leave a comment below. And remember above, I'm looking up <laughs> at my ceiling. You can see it. But do feel free to um, press the add button or the follow button and then also share my live uh, session with anybody who you believe would value it. And thank you for joining me. Bye for me for now.